And we're back, guys. We have the main event of the day. Corey Coco Golf, the American, taking on Belinda Bencic. Now, these two ladies have played once. Bencic owns the head-to-head, -head, one love. But listen, guys, this is a heavyweight matchup. Coco has something that Belinda does not have, and that's a Grand Slam final appearance, as well as a WTA finals appearance. Belinda's never accomplished those two, and Coco, of course, doing it in the singles and the doubles. Belinda does have a few more championships than Coco on the main tour, but she's also seven years older. She's got about three times, nearly three times, the hard court experience. Belinda prefers to play on hard. She said it herself. She doesn't really like clay. But she's made the Charleston final again this year where she lost to Anjabor. And it's been a really good year for Belinda, guys. Belinda won the Adelaide 2 right, where she took out Dasha. She made the round of 16 at the Australian Open before losing to Sabalenka. She made, uh, look, the Abu Dhabi final where she beat uh, Ludmilla, two championships on the year. Doha round of 16 before losing to Iga. Charleston, of course, she made the final before losing to Ans. And look, what about at Wimbledon, the round of 16 before losing to Iga? Now, Coco, on the other hand, and by the way, Belinda looks very sluggish in this match. I mean, the first changeover, it literally took her forever to get to the court. Keep an eye on that, ladies and gentlemen. Coco first service game, she held the 15. Coco looks really good, and uh, she has her, her new advisor in her box. I can see the improvements with Coco's game. Uh, she's playing very tactical early on. She's using amazing defensive techniques that I, that I used to see when she was younger. She brought him out tonight. She's going over the head of Belinda Benchich, the banana and the tailpike. Hey, Coco is playing very well. And look, she's 28 and 12 on the year, 16 and 5 on hard. Now, she won Auckland, right? Don't forget that, where she took out Rebecca Masarova. She made the round of 16 at the Australian Open before losing to Big Mama Ostapenko. She made the semifinal in Dubai. Ending well, she made the quarterfinal. The French Open, she made the quarterfinal. She is having a pretty good year, okay? And look, she made the semifinal at Eastburn, and here she has a chance to make another semifinal. Coco is a solid top 10 player. She's either going to make the quarterfinals or the semifinals in most of these prestigious events. Coco is a solid player for only 19. She's seven years younger than Belinda and has accomplished a lot compared to what Belinda has. But Belinda does have the gold medal. Of course, Coco didn't participate. A lot of people picked Coco to win the Tokyo Games, but she came down with you know, that thing, you know, the pandemic there. But listen, guys, Coco is balling early on. She breaks Belinda. Belinda looks a little slow, guys. Keep that in mind. We're going to see if she can snap out of it. But Coco's playing amazing defensively. Belinda's trying to stay away from that athletic ability. She's keeping the ball close to the line as possible. While Coco, we know there's a big power advantage that Belinda has, but Coco's offsetting that with defensive spin. Coco's playing very smart. I'm seeing the changes in her game, and the forehand's working so far. This is going to be an amazing match, guys. Tennis in a minute. Get your popcorn. Coco's pumped up. 